So we all know that Signal is one of the most secure, if not the most secure app for messaging and making calls. However, if you want to take your Signal game to the next level and be super stealthy about the messages you send and the calls you make, then here are 10 features I recommend taking advantage of. First up is to send all your images and videos as view once. I mean, most people probably don't need to keep a copy of the photos and videos you send them on their phones anyway, so why give them this option? To send a photo or video as view once in Signal, click on the little infinity icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen after you've taken your picture or added it from your library. The icon will change to a number one and your recipient will be able to view your photo or video once, after which it's gone forever. Next up, Signal gives you the option of disabling read receipts and typing indicators. So the people you are messaging can't see when you're typing and they don't know if you've read their messages. To keep them guessing, go to settings, click on your profile icon and then select privacy and disable both read receipts and typing indicators. Now when you receive a message, the person will only know it's been received but not read and when you send the message, they don't see any indication that you're typing. If you're aiming to be super stealthy, you definitely don't want people around you seeing who has messaged you and having a sneak preview of the message. Separate from iOS notifications, you can customize what is displayed on the lock screen by again going into settings, choosing notifications, and set notification content to show no name or content. Now you'll just be notified that you've received a signal message and nothing else. You can take this one step further by also hiding the signal screen preview that gets displayed when switching between apps. To disable this preview, go into settings, followed by privacy and enable the option hide screen whilst in app switcher. Now when you switch between apps, you'll see just a blue screen and the signal logo. So you've guaranteed that no one else around you can see your notifications, but you can still recognize who has messaged you by setting a different notification tone for each of your different signal contacts. Click on the person's name in the chat session, choose sound and notifications, and change the message sound to a different tone. So now when you receive a message from that person, you'll be able to recognize it instantly from the different tone. While we're on the subject of giving away more information than you need to, remember you can always set your messages to disappear from the recipient's phone. To do this, click on their name in the chat session, choose disappearing messages and set an expiry period. The message will simply disappear after the allotted time, regardless of whether the recipient has read it or not. Rather than set this individually, you can enable it for all your chat sessions by going into settings, clicking on privacy and setting the default time for new chats. While you're in the privacy settings, if you scroll down a little bit further to the bottom of the screen and click on advanced, here you can set calls to be always relayed or routed through Signal's servers. This ensures that the person you are calling has no way of determining the IP address of your phone and thus your location. To guard against anyone ever accessing your account except you, turn on registration lock. You can think of this as a form of two-factor authentication when logging into Signal from a new device. With registration lock enabled, when you next access Signal on a new mobile or desktop computer, you'll need both your account details and the PIN code that you set when you created your account. So registration lock prevents your account from being compromised, but what about the person you are messaging? To guarantee the person you are communicating with is who they say they are, Signal has a feature called safety numbers. Each one-to-one -one chat session is assigned a unique code, a safety number. You can view this number by clicking on the name of the person at the top of your chat session and choosing view safety number. If the person you are messaging does the same on their phone, they should see exactly the same number. 
However, rather than comparing these two numbers manually, you can scan each other's code by tapping on the code. Confirm the verification, and forevermore, Signal can verify that both parties in the conversation are who they say they are. Finally, separate from unlocking your phone, you can also enable a lock on the Signal app itself by going into settings, clicking on privacy, and turning on screen lock, and setting the timeout period. Now each time you close the app or after the timeout period, you'll need to unlock the app either by using your phone's biometrics or a PIN code. So that is 10 ways to maximize security and privacy using your Signal app. If you found the video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.